All right, it's Aquarius. Instead of notorious, it's Aquarius. <laughs> How y'all doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ooh, let me get this. That was flipped upside down. Be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. The Notorious Aquarius. All right, spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for Aquarius at this time? Please and thank you. What messages do you have for Aquarius at this time? Please and thank you. Yes, the time has come. Ooh, the challenge here, someone is sick or dealing with someone that's sick, or they could be dealing with some sort of financial loss here. Something has really affected this person. They could be dealing with someone that makes them feel like they sick. Okay, because the root of the issue here is someone is wanting to make a move and they, they're ready to make that move right now. Like with the knight inner the knight of wands energy, this is what this writer gives me. This is like someone ready to move now. Like they can't wait till the next day because this the sun is setting here. So this person is like, I can't wait till tomorrow. I got to make a move now. So someone is ready to move full speed ahead. There could be a situation between you and them that's causing like, they're really stressed out about it. We'll see. I'm going to have to clarify that and see what's going on. So you guys met someone here and it looks like you fell in love. You view this person as someone that you could spend the rest of your life with. So the overall energy is judgment here. I'm getting y'all taught somebody a tough lesson. That is what I'm getting with the judgment card here. And y'all want to make sure that they got the picture clear and straight with some... <laughs> really getting y'all taught someone. Y'all know that there is someone here that has unconditional love for you. Because whatever y'all have put this person through, they feel sick. Like, it has manifested into the physical form. Like, someone think they caught COVID after you done up and left them. Like, they up here tripping. But you feel like someone needed to learn a tough lesson because there's a stalemate here. And with the devil energy... <laughs> I don't know who this is, but I really feel like y'all are intentionally giving someone the blues here. Like y'all are teaching someone a tough ass lesson. And like this person feels 
they're obsessing over this situation with you first of all like they're not understanding why you are acting the way you are because uh your energy is the tower that's i'm getting like y'all intentionally shook some shit up here with someone like you felt like it was necessary But their feelings towards you is they, like this person feels deeply committed towards you. They want a family with you. But they also feel like the two of you are just looking in different, like y'all, this person feels like y'all are just looking in different directions at this point. I'm definitely getting, you're going to let this person out the doghouse. This is what I'm getting. Because some of y'all have, like, put somebody in, like, the friend zone. And it was just to teach someone a tough lesson here. But you're going to finally let this person out the doghouse. Because there's a lot of chemistry between you and this person. And they make you really excited. The outcome between you and this person is there's going to be new hope, a change of perception. And it looks like that's exactly what y'all intended to do with someone here. This is what I'm getting. They're definitely seeing you as like withholding communication. And they feel like this person feels like it's up to you to reach out to them. Because this even... I'm getting like, they're coming towards you, but they're waiting for, uh, what do you call it? Uh, they, they want an olive branch here. Like they want to know, is it okay to come towards you? Like, is it okay? Because this, you're looking at this person like they're on a quest or this is what they're on a quest. Like they, they know where they're going. They're coming straight towards you. This person is faithful. Some of y'all, they're willing to relocate if you guys are at a distance, but they're definitely dependable. I am getting you guys know that with this person, because they are, their feelings is they are deeply committed towards you. And your feelings is you're, you are ready to wreck havoc on some shit here. I don't know why, but... It's, it's like you have this aggressive energy or you're just shaking shit up here. Their advice to you is the moon. With romance, I'm definitely getting that they're wanting you to be romantic with this situation because it's also being very sens like it's sensual here affectionate this is what i'm getting like intuitively i really feel like y'all are giving someone the blues here Intuition, heart song so you guys know you are intuitively picking up on something here that is time. I'm getting if y'all been waiting for someone to make a move, you know you've been picking it up intuitively that someone is about to make a move towards you because they're all stressed out, they're feeling sick and worried about losing you for good. Like they're 
divine masculine. Some of you guys are the divine masculine or you are dealing with the divine masculine. <laughs> Y'all are giving somebody the blues here. Running. Go send this. Some of y'all ran. The challenge is some of y'all ran. This is it. Y'all definitely gave someone the blues. I'm getting y'all are the ghoster. Y'all disappeared on someone. Y'all pulled a disappearing act. Y'all ran from a connection here with someone. Or you guys are teaching someone a tough lesson because they ran from you. But intuitively, you're picking up that this is the time, like now the time has come that this person is returning. And y'all are just teaching someone a tough lesson. Because I'm definitely getting that y'all have withdrawn your energy one way or the other. It's like, if this person ghosts you then y'all are just playing it real cool with this person. Y'all aren't giving them any attention. Now, if y'all ran from this person, y'all made they ass sick. Either way, whoever you're dealing with, y'all have made this person sick. Like they feel it in their stomach. They think they don't caught the stomach virus. You know, it's like, it's, it's that serious for them. Someday, somewhere, another time. Why one day? Realization. Because someone is needing to realize. Some misunderstandings. And they're obsessing over this. I'm definitely getting this person coming towards you with this foot here. It's like there has been this picture painted, but someone is realizing that it's like based off of some misunderstandings. They've been obsessing over this situation as well. Tell me, why is the tower in Aquarius feelings towards this person? Why is the tower here? So, I'm definitely getting, y'all are going from this energy of wanting a family with this person. Like, y'all definitely wanted one. But you feel like you're better off. And it's because you feel like this person will continue to suppress their emotions towards you. So that's why y'all are not giving to this connection anymore. And it's really stressing someone out here. They are this. Um, I told y'all this is your person. This is your person. They are stressed out. They are falling apart. This is in their feelings. Because y'all have released like the hope of having the family, establishing the family with this person. If you guys did have a family with this person, like y'all are good. It's like you feel like you're better off without this person because of you feel like they've been playing these games, playing games with you. Yeah, and it's caused you a lot of pain here. You don't want to be hurt anymore. Tell me more why the moon is in your advice for Aquarius. Why is the moon in advice for Aquarius? It... Okay, so they're definitely talking about some. They're wanting you to heal. They're wanting you to heal. They're wanting you to dive deeper here with the moon card. 
because they're saying that you are holding on to a lot of it's bitterness and conflict showing up in your energy that they're wanting you to heal from. Because this is within your subconscious. They're wanting you to recognize. That's their advice for you is to heal from this. And I'm not getting regarding this relationship. They're saying in general, there's something within you that you're needing to heal. That's triggering this bitterness, this conflict here. Now, whether you know this person triggers something, but ultimately this is what they want you to do. This is their advice for you. This is what they want you to do is to heal from this bitterness, this conflict that you're feeling. Can you, what, what are their intentions for Aquarius? What are their intentions for Aquarius? Past life, they job repeated patterns. Okay, so they'll continue to suppress their emotions. That's what they're saying. And yeah, they have a lot of, they definitely value you. They realize how important you are to them. But they're saying that these are repeated patterns. They're going to continue to repeat these patterns. And I'm getting like, that's exactly why. It's like, they're going to stay in like this secret admirer energy. Being timid. And it's almost like it's drowning you. What is Aquarius intentions towards this person? What are Aquarius intentions towards this person? Yeah, you were you are exhausted because you gave this connection your all. You feel depleted, drained. It's been a long journey, but you were reliable. You were loyal to this person. You show them that you were dedicated. You were someone that they could rely on, but they have just exhausted you. And that's why you're at this point where it's nothing left for you to give. They're wanting you to heal from this. And that way you don't like continue to harbor this bitterness, this conflict within. But your perception has definitely changed. Your feelings for this person has definitely changed from wanting a family with this person to feeling like you're just better off without them. But they pushed you to that point. They pushed you to that point. It's, it's just like it's always going to be someday hoping for this person to realize. And then you're left just like obsessing over this situation with this person. That's what they're saying. It's going to continue to be a repeated pattern. Because they're a runner. I mean, hell, they're making themselves sick, really. You guys are dealing with someone who has some deep unhealed wounds either from childhood or a terrible relationship and they run from love.
Some of y'all could have definitely been married to this person. Or it was just someone that you saw marriage with. You wanted that long-term commitment with this person. Did y'all see that car fly out? Fly out? So friendship. <clears throat> this friendship is leading to more. Let's see what that's about. You guys have some... Okay, so they're saying that... I'm not getting that. It's with whoever you are. Whoever you're... Uh, some of y'all could be in, or be entering into a co uh, commitment with someone that was married before. But I'm not getting that this is the same energy. I'm definitely getting that there's someone that you're overlooking. It looks like you have someone that um, you guys are just really casual with each other, but you're not picking up, or at least you weren't picking up on the connection that the two of you have. But it looks like soon, some of you guys is going to take spending some time apart for you to realize that someone is your true love and to make a decision. Meaning that you're going to have to officially let that connection go, that you are hoping to create a family with someone because with marriage, or you did have a family with someone, because there's a connection you're realizing that this person is your divine counterpart and there's a lot of chemistry between you and someone here and this is your true love for true love and twin flame and chemistry also come up with this connection this is a very strong connection that's coming in for you <clears throat> some of you guys it's going to start off as a friendship and you're going to completely overlook this connection and then it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. Shout out to my construction workers out there. You know that saying it had to come from a construction worker when they toss those bricks. All right, let's go ahead and see what other messages are coming through. y'all's name could be Sadie or you're dealing with a Sadie <clears throat> that's you don't really hear that name for Sade you don't really hear uh, Sadie no more though you could have had a grandmother named Sadie yes someone not speaking up and it pushed you to the point of no return now you're in this energy of protecting yourself from this person because you're tired of the games that they are playing you feel like they've been mentally manipulating you by being silent with you because they continue to be cold and distant towards you and you feel like this person knows exactly what they're doing they know that they're hurting you with their actions here or lack of action no action is action yes you have the strength to move away from this person that you feel rejected by you feel like this person has rejected your love and you have now worked up the courage or enough courage enough strength to move on from this connection to move towards something better Yeah, this person was definitely keeping you waiting here in the past with the hangman. And the thing about this card here is this hourglass is not turned up. So the time that sand isn't even, you know, draining into the the other hourglass or the other glass. It's, it's just stuck. It's not moving anywhere because they have it on the side. So this person has no intention no intentions of like making a move or making things right with you. It's like they continue to procrastinate here. I'm, I'm not going to say that they don't have intentions because I am getting that this person does love you, but they are going to keep you stuck in this stagnant energy. A new beginning in love, ace of waters. Whenever you see aces in your outcome, this is something new that's coming your way. If you were to, you never want to see the ace, any ace 
in your outcome with a current relationship. That means that things are going right back to, it's like, it's not a consistent energy with someone, but you have a new offer coming in, a new offer of love coming in. That's your outcome. The Ace of Cups. That's going to make you feel complete. Yeah, you're releasing someone who's been spying on you. It's like they have, they've been watching you, but they haven't been saying a word for a connection. Someone that makes you truly happy. Someone who gets you, someone who understands you and someone who brings stability into your life here. They're looking at you in the seven of swords energy and the queen of uh the queen of swords energy. The queen of swords is someone they're looking at you like you are not talking to them because of their deceitful behavior towards towards you. You have established strong boundaries with this person. They realize that they see that. That the reason why you're not talking to them because you got the king and the queen of air. So you're saying, you know what? Because you want to continue to wear this mask, I have to set these boundaries with you. So they realize that. They see that. They know that that's not, that's, they know that that's the reason why you're not talking to them is because of their deceitful behavior towards you. Them not being honest about the way that they feel, them not speaking up has caused you to set these boundaries with them. Caused you to be in this uh, queen of swords energy towards them. Because look at, she's not tripping. She's not tripping. She's protecting her energy. But look at them, stressed out, looking a mess. They're in a cold ass environment. Don't know when their next meal is gonna come. Oh, she's well taken care of. Dress, dress fabulous. Looks amazing. And it doesn't matter if you're male or female here. Because the king's masculine energy is all about action. This is someone who's making their dreams come true. And they know that in order to make their dreams come true, they have to first start establishing boundaries with people who were taking them for granted, people who were not treating them the way they deserved. So someone who needed to take action didn't, and now they're in this, like, they're realizing that they set themselves up for failure. Let's see, how is this person being seen? Ooh. They're definitely wanting to take action towards you and to invest in this connection. I'm getting that some of y'all, yeah, they want to turn things around for the better in this connection. But you, I'm getting that you guys are well aware of that, but you're not tripping off of it. What is your advice for Aquarius regarding this connection? What is your advice for Aquarius Let me make sure I got it. What is your advice for Aquarius? Hermit, withdraw your energy from this connection. Allow it to officially come to an end because you got the King of Pentacles showing up. Someone who's going to bring in a solid offer. This is someone who's actually going to take action. They're not going to talk about it or dream about it. They're going to act on it. And they're offering you something solid here, male or female. All right.
Ooh. You know what? I was going to uh I was going to ignore this card, but it definitely wants to come out because they're definitely one you guys to focus on self-care at this time. And not to obsess over this connection between you and someone that you know is coming to an end or needs to come to an end. Because there's definitely something better coming towards you. Let's get some oracle messages and we are going to wrap this up. I still have feelings for you. I'm in a committed relationship. And it doesn't mean that this person is with someone else. This, this card also represents someone having other obligations or prioritizing other things other than this uh, relationship with you. And I'm definitely getting that's exactly how this person made you feel. So it's like they have feelings for you, but they didn't prioritize this connection with you. But take it as it resonates. Some of you guys were put in the third party, but I wasn't getting third party energy. I'm definitely getting that this person just prioritized other things other than this connection. And they could feel obligated to family or they feel obligated to like um, achieving a level of success here. But either way, they didn't prioritize this connection with you. Some of y'all definitely have someone that's going to be interested in you. It could be a, a boss, someone in a boss position, but I'm definitely getting that like this person comes across as being like pretty stern here, um, but they look like they're a very successful individual. And again, this is someone, some of you guys, I'm going to tell you what, if you guys have a, could, like if you guys click with like a boss or someone that's like you work with here. So I'm definitely getting that this is someone who's very knowledgeable in the particular area that they work or their particular field here. And it's not just, oh, they were trained on the job. No, this is someone that people go to for um, advice regarding a particular area or a particular field. Who else had past life? Did you guys have the past life connection? Because I'm getting you're going to overlook this connection initially. Because with Wallflower, this is some, like, it looks like you're in your head. And I'm getting this, you're in your head about this connection. And it looks like you're just looking right past someone else here who's trying to get your attention. But I'm getting when you meet this new person, it's going to trigger some sort of spiritual growth within you because the person that you were previously dealing with left you feeling like depleted within, but this new connection is going to trigger some sort of spiritual growth. But it looks like this is someone who they're, res they're well respected. But they could come across as being like cold and detached as well. But I'm not getting because they look like they're very focused on you. And with friendship popping up here, it looks like the two of you are going to click. But you're not going to initially look at them in that way. 
So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I send it right back to you guys. With that, you all take care.